welcome to the next Caroline Carp Artist Paint With Me episode, Turning the Tide. In this mixed media ongoing project, I take you on an expressionistic and intuitive painting journey showing many different artistic techniques and processes. Sit back and enjoy watching the process of me creating this multi-paneled sea of sailboats. It is my intention to paint uplifting artwork for the wildly adventurous soul, focusing mainly on sunflowers, sails, and sparkles. My work, it's steeped in mindfulness and true expression. My life is pretty simple. I have two sons that live, one lives in DC and the other lives in New York City. I teach art. I host these really cool and unusual creativity workshops for kids and sometimes even for adults. I'm honored that my paintings and my work have been commissioned by people all around the world. The sea is ever-changing. The sailor responds to a subtle shifting of the wind, the imperceptible ebbing of the tides. He changes course, he trims his sheets, he sails. That's a quote by Richard Bowen. In this piece, I keep thinking to myself, turn the tide, just keep turning the tide. Just keep refocusing back on what it is that you are wanting in your world right now. When you set your focus into the infinite potential and possibility, it's endless. You'll start to be affected by the tides and currents that are so universal that you don't even know that you're being shifted. It's like the wind coming down onto a cruise ship in the ocean and just slightly, ever so slightly, turning it off course without the ship even knowing that it has moved. Here's another quote. This one's by Harriet Beecher Stowe. When you get into a tight place and everything goes against you till it seems as though you could not hang on a minute longer, never give up. Then for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. What you see of me painting here, um, this is the first three panels that I painted and I went on to add three more to it that all fit together as a six panel piece of art and the extent of it that I'm showing is um, the beginning. And what I tend to do is keep it up and you'll see it in, uh, later on in the video hanging up on my studio wall and I like to keep it in its current state for a while to see um, what I want to add to it. Sometimes I like to keep it really simplistic, just the sails in their sort of um, minimal or, or 
yeah, just minimal form, shape and form. Sometimes I like to keep them like that, and then other times I like to really flesh it out and add the, um, the mast to the, of the sailboat and the lines to the sailboat and add people. But uh, the stage that I'm leaving the paintings in this video is the stage that it's at right now, and I could do a, another video in the future. When you're finished watching the video, I'd love to know your thoughts about it. I'd love to know, you know, do you identify with the title of the painting? Do you identify with the subject matter? How do you like the color palette? Do you like it in the kind of primitive way? Or do you like it more refined and realistic? I'm curious. I've been painting sailboats now for a while and I enjoy painting them kind of in both ways. But when I look at this piece, I do kind of like it in them in the primitive stages of it. I see the sailboats going in all different directions floating amongst one another, being shifted. They're being shifted by the tides, ever so slightly. Now one could think it's the same sailboat and that's just the sequence of it moving and shifting in the water. Or it could be a whole bunch of them out, like a regatta, out in the water, out at sea. So I'm curious about your thoughts. You can leave them in the comments. In this section of the video, you'll see that I went over to a friend's house. We had a little painting party and I brought my pup Aria, and that pillow that Aria is sitting on was meant for me, but Aria decided she wanted to stick right by my side while I painted, and I let her use the pillow to sit on, which she loved. But sometimes I like, you know, leaving the studio and going over to a friend's house and painting. And this shows the next three in the series. Here you see them up on my studio wall where I kind of married the two together and turned that sky into water. I'm drinking an ice cream float. tissue paper. Then I used acrylic on top and in the sails and on the sails I use oil pastel to oil pastel when I rub it on its side it picks up the textures that are underneath 
that were formed with the black tissue. higher up. I, I hung it down low just so I could paint on it easily. Um, you know, able to reach the top and the bottom. But I envision it um, actually being higher up. Probably the, the center panel being at eye level. Um, a nice There's no need for frames. Or you could just split them up and hang them around the room because they, they do for staying tuned. Thanks for being here today. If you would love to do it, please subscribe to the Caroline Carp Artist YouTube channel. I will be uploading new episodes 
every single week. You can give it stars, you can give it glitter, you can even give it fairy pixie dust. And then, I think it would be really great if you went to my website and checked out some of my other artwork. This year, I've been focusing on sunflowers, sails, and glitter. We all love it when the water looks all glittery, don't we? Thank you for being here, and I'll see you next week on my next exciting episode from the Paint With Me series. <laughs>